Well, good morning. For those of you intending on just having a quick 10 second look at what I'm gonna ramble on about today, um, try and hang around for a few minutes because I'm having a walk through uh, the little town of Rincon del Mar. And it is amazing for lots of reasons, which will speak for itself. I'm not gonna talk about why. Um, but we arrived here yesterday. I think we already mentioned in a, a recent video about the problems we had getting here. The last 15 kilometers coming into Rincon del Mar uh, was literally like a river and mud. Um, we both were really tired. Um, we got really dirty. Uh, it was hard work. Um, but that's not normally the case. It's because they had a freak kind of rainstorm. It's kind of rainy season anyway at the moment but it was really bad. It's probably the worst they've ever had. So the road leading into this coastal town um, was flooded much more than normal. So um, uh, that, was, that was the reason. Okay, so if you're still here, you've hung around for about a minute, so that's uh, very good of you. And it will start to get worthwhile round about now. Uh, think of this more of a travel video, um, because as much as we're talking about our trip and how we're getting on it's all about motorbikes um, we do actually want to see parts of Colombia that we wouldn't normally see and and share that as well with other people that perhaps have maybe a biased view not biased uh, just the wrong view of Colombia from watching too much Netflix I mean Colombia is not gangs of men in linen suits with big medallions and moustaches running around shooting each other and white powder flying in the air um, that's just that's just an old uh, an old story it goes back 30 years maybe it was a little bit like that it's nothing like that now and there's parts of Colombia like this um, so Rincon del Mar if you imagine a clock face we're, we're at about kind of nine o'clock I suppose maybe 10 o'clock on the clock face, if that makes sense. Um, it's on the lovely kind of um, Caribbean area of the country. Um, so we don't want to go to all the cities and places, or we'll certainly not spend too much time in places like Cartagena, Barranquilla, um, Medellin. I think we will be going through Medellin, but uh, for me, that's not that exciting. I don't really want to go to all these big cities that everyone goes to that are full of foreigners and that's all they know. Um, there's so many hidden gems in this country like this place, Rincon del Mar. I'll keep saying it because the people are lovely um, and there's more to it than other parts of Colombia where it, there still is a lot of poverty, a lot of towns and cities have their problems. There's still corruption going on in the governments. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, there's still a kind of air of, I suppose, laziness. Not laziness of the people. Uh, distrust. Distrust. Len and I were talking about this the other day. About, you know, why should they be paying taxes when they know the, uh, the government might spend it the wrong way. Which is kind of very true, unfortunately. Um, so, it's just, uh, they're just stuck in this... Um, in this little cycle, I suppose, of never getting out of a rut. Um, because both sides, you know, like the, the, the people and the government, uh, aren't really, uh, you know, doing things the way that they should, let's say. All right, I'm wandering off onto a different uh, topic, which is not my intention. But the point is to say that this place here, Rincon del Mar, from what we've seen in our short time here, less than 24 hours, but we had a conversation with a few people that uh, work here. They've got a good system. All these little guest houses where I'm walking down now, hostels and hotels, um, they really do give back to the community. Uh, they employ everyone local. They buy all their products, uh, produce and services locally. Um, so they're reinvesting back into you know this little town uh, which is which is great and they're very environmentally con conscious we joked about it yesterday didn't we in a video about how we're in an eco-friendly hotel and everything's recycled and whatnot um but joking aside it's, it's what's needed here's actually a movie theater <laughs> we walked past here last night and on that wall they kind of projected they were starting to watch a movie and here it was just full of chairs with all the local kids 
and it was beautiful actually it was just lovely to see something simple and effective um, and all these little kids here just uh, I suppose watching a movie I don't know if they do it every night I'm gonna come past later on and see if that's the case but there's just a really friendly vibe here just just nice and laid but I feel like I'm on an island I literally do feel like I'm on an island it kind of reminds me of an island called Boracay uh, in the Philippines that I went to when I was posted out in uh, Hong Kong and I had kind of two weeks R&R &R and I went off on my own and found this little island and um, had the same sort of feeling as what I've got here now well, they're, they're having an enjoyable morning yeah so it's got that it's got that distant far away feel to it um, and again as I've said before very different to the Columbia I know um, but I'm getting to know different parts of it now because of this trip and the Col Columbia I'm now getting to know is, is, is what I'm now going to expect of Columbia uh, in that it is very diverse it's very different different place you go from one place to the other you've seen in other videos um, this is this is something new right beautiful calm beach just someone out there doing whatever he's doing but it looks great these nice little hotel hostely kind of things I mean isn't this amazing so Rincon del Mar I'll keep saying it a few times because if anyone's thinking of ever coming to Colombia why go to Cartagena why go to Medellin? Why go to Bogota? Maybe just to fly in there because you need to do that. But um, once you're there, get the hell out and come and see the places like this that need tourism. And uh, in return, you know, you're going to have the best holiday ever because you're going to meet lovely people. You know it is an amazing country and it's on the up and this is the beautiful Rincon del Mar in case I didn't say it over and out for today